Hi everybody, my name is Leticia. I'm associate pastor to Impact Center, which Pastor Erin, Pastor Gail, Lolesi is the senior pastors. Um, I'm, in, I'm overseeing the evangelism team. So what we do is on a Wednesday we feed and on a Friday we go out or any day of the week we go out and pray for our congregation members. We go house door to door, house to house and what we do is we go in there, we pray for them, most of them are sick people, they've got TB, they've got HIV, they've got lots of kind of uh, sickness but in any case we go in there, we pray and then what we do is we, we also look around and see what they have and what we don't have. And to be quite honest with you, they don't have anything. So what we do is we make a list and then bring it back to the church and make sure that we ask for sponsors and people have been taking well on because they, they see what we're doing and all that. And the people that we went and prayed for, I must say God has been faithful. He's been healing people from day to day, day to day. There's so, so much uh, improve in what we're doing and what God is doing in people's life. life. So um, I would love to thank everybody. Thank the pastors to really give us the opportunity to go into the field and do what we do. Zan Spread is a squatter camp with a population of about 70,000 people living within a few square kilometers of land. The area only has one clinic with only two nursing staff. It only has one primary school and no high school. Majority of the population here are unemployed and survive on less than a dollar a day. Their living conditions are heartbreaking as they have no running water or proper sanitation and this creates a breeding ground for airborne diseases like TB. They live in a cramped arrangement of makeshift shelters made of old iron zinc sheets, pieces of mesonite board and large plastic bags, really anything that they can find to create a shelter. These structures are called shacks or shanties. Some of the shacks are a mere four square meters in size and you find a family of five living in them. During the rainy season it's devastating because their structures have leaks on the roof and the sides. These people find themselves in pools of water inside their shacks. Impact Center is a Christian-based church based in Johannesburg. Our outreach team consists of 10 people, five of which are volunteers. We go out into Zanspreit three times a week. Veronica Meyer and I am part of the outreach team at Impact Center South Africa under the leadership of Pastor Eddie and Gail Lolesi. The outreach in Zanspray is it's it's if you if you go into Zanspray it is the the living circumstances is it will blow your mind and how it impacted my life was just to see we complain so easily about things but when I saw those people and how they live and how they don't eat for days and they don't even get to get to get up, uh, to uh, um, take a proper bath or anything like that. 
We host a soup kitchen on Wednesdays. Before feeding the food, we have a short sermon where we preach and we pray for the crowd. We also offer counseling, after which we provide a hot plate of food freely to everybody there. Hello, this is Deacon Mulifi. I'm a Deacon of Impact Center, South Africa, under Pastor Eddie and Gail Lolesi leadership. Well, as far as this church has been so impactful to the people's life, particularly in Sanskrit, it has been doing so phenomenal. You'll understand what I mean by that. And uh, we thank God and we're looking forward to see more changes in people's life and to see the reality of God's mission in their life as well. is via us people who can be able to help in terms of finances, resources, whatever way that Lord can put in your heart to bless this ministry so that this ministry can continue to fulfill its calling. On the other two days, we do door-to-door -door visits to check on the living conditions of the people we meet at the soup kitchen. We provide further counseling and prayer, and we also bring them food parcels. We thank God for the ability and the grace that is put upon us as Impact Center to go in there and not just to, to, to see to people in terms of their spiritual need, but also to go in there and to see to their physical need. Transport to our church services is provided every Sunday. We transport about 30 adults and 40 children from Zanspread to our church. Let's follow Jesus. As Impact Center Church, we've been able to build better looking structures that have windows and concrete floor slabs for some of our church members. We are hoping to be able to build more in the future. We also hope to upskill the people of Zanspreit and enable them to get employed by helping them finish their high school diplomas, help them improve their command of written and spoken English, and by getting them basic training in the use of computers. We're also involved in the local school ministry where we conduct a short sermon and then pray over the school children. This happens during their Monday morning school assembly. Uh, our desire is obviously, you know, not just to, to feed people or not just to uh, uh, introduce people to Jesus Christ, but to upskill them. You know, uh, ultimately for us, we would love, you know, if God can give us the grace to be able to actually close down uh, Zanspreit, where we can build proper houses for every single per family that lives in Zanspreit. And so basically that's where we are at the moment and we really believe in God for, for the finances and the, the resources to be able to do that, you know. Mm -hmm. God for, you know, homes for the, uh, for the elderly and all those type of things what we believe, be, believe in God for. And so, yeah, as MPEC Center, we, you know, we're doing a little bit, but we believe in God, like I said, for resources to be able to do those things that we believe God has called us to do in Zanspreit, South Africa. <laughs> <laughs> 